What is up my guys? We are back and I have a little cursor spinning on my screen. There we go. Move that out of the way. How is it going? We are back to building. I took a nice little break for the night and now we're gonna work on this some more. So, starting back here with this lovely little room, we are gonna have a window right here but we're gonna extend the wall a little further first. So it needs to come out two more and then up for those four. And then of course do that nice quartz finish. That looks so pretty, like so. And then you need your pane. All right, and then we're gonna come over after that one. We're gonna have two blocks. So that's already one, so this is two. And then we're going to have another window right next to this one. So two, up four, get your quartz, your stairs, and your panes. Looks like I made that a little too short. Whoops. <laughs> too tall on the outside. There we go. And then get your panes in there. All right. And then we have this. And this should line up with this front wall here. If not, we actually might have this one too long. I'm actually going to take this off, but let's check with our bathroom. So this is our bathroom, and this is a closet over here. So this wall comes back to here. So you just have a little four, or a four, four wide room, a two by two over there, and the bathroom, which is right here, is gonna come out for two and then over for a couple, how many exactly? Yes, one less than this wall. So right here is our bathroom. Like so, fill that up, make it as tall. So then you should have a four by two bathroom. And then this, <coughs> excuse me, is another wall. Got a powerful sneeze. Um, we're gonna bring this one from here. It has one more wall, and then it comes down for. There's a window gonna be. There's a window there and a window there. So these other two, you can build up. And of course, the windows are also two off the ground. So build up your walls. And then, of course, add that quartz. Like so. Add your stairs and your panes. And then fill in that floor. Keeping up with the floor as we go along so that there's less work to do later. Always a good idea. There we go. So that's that kind of empty room with a couple, I think, like a desk in it. And then you have your hallway with a closet and a bathroom. And then all of this is the kitchen and dining area, plus your stairs to your upstairs. And then we've got the garage. So the garage wall should be one shorter. So this should be a two wide wall right here. So if you have it as three still, just go ahead and take off that one on the right. And now we're gonna bring it all the way back. Except that didn't line up. <laughs> Well done, guys. <laughs> Something happened here. We lost a couple. Uh, I see what happened. Actually, this is wrong. Okay. So, we're going to actually just push this wall out. It should be right here, actually. So, your window is good there. You see what we're doing? We're just bringing it out by two spaces. Because that wall was a little too short to fit up with the garage. So, bring that up bring that up. All your walls just need to get fixed really quick. That's my mistake. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, my blueprints are not matching up. <laughs> I probably should have checked them twice before starting, but who's got time for that? All right, so then you add in your quartz stairs and bring this wall out, and your window is actually going to go right here instead, this window. But the other window does not need to move. The other window is just fine where it is. So just this window, and then, of course, fix the quartz. 
and then just take down this entire wall that we don't need. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna bring this wall out, and your floor out. There we go. And then glass panes. And I missed a spot here. All right, and then your quartz finish, like so. So now it'll look a little better. There we go. And then this wall just comes all the way back to the garage, which you can't even get to, actually, because we don't have that fancy mod pack that allows you to open the garage door. So the garage door you actually cannot get to. So what I decided to do in my original build of this house was just to go ahead and put a door right here, plus a stair, so that you can get to the garage if you want. Otherwise, you can leave it as the authentic look and not get into your garage. It doesn't really matter either way. Of course, garage door floor is going to be this light gray concrete as well, but we need to put a wall right here by the stairs. Oops. So just go ahead and put in your wall. Wow, my back is very stiff today. Not fun. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Nice and pretty. Um, our next floor is going to start as soon as we bring up all of these. So if you guys want, just go ahead and I'm going to actually put this layer here as well so that it looks nice and pretty. There we go. And I'm actually going to put another room right here. But that's all choice. You guys do not need to do that unless you want to. So then you're going to go ahead and just fill that all in with this light gray concrete color and of course that hole in the wall of terracotta. So you'll just fill in this whole room with this. And then, you know, if you want you can make... Personally I would put like a little tool shed back here or like a bathroom or something just like maybe even a mud room. Just anything to really just have like another extra little space back here. Because like I said there's a bunch of empty space in this house. so. You can put whatever you'd like in there. Alright, so just fill that in. Alright, we are going to build these walls up now. So take your, actually take your cobblestone. We're going to come back to the wall. We're going to build up the front now because the front is a little complex and we want to make sure we get it right. So I'm going to look at this other build on my cell phone so that I can see just how we want to do this front. So go ahead and fill in that cobblestone along here. And it looks like it's going to go all the way back to the house. Yes, it does. It goes all the way back to here. And then you can just make a layer of terracotta. And then on top of this, in the front here, we're going to come across with a layer of terracotta. And then you're going to need to get your stairs. So you can go ahead and get rid of your concrete now. You shouldn't be needing more of that. So brick stairs. The first stair is going to go on this concrete pillar. You're going to set it off to the side just like that. No wait, never mind. It goes upside down. <laughs> so come on the other side of that concrete pillar and place an upside down, upside down stair onto it. And then come out one and up one. And then you're just going to keep doing the same with an upside down stair and a right side up stair. And this can go away too. So just do that for like the top until you get to like two above the terracotta. And then we're going to do it on this side. So it's an upside down stair and then a right side up stair with one on top, upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, like that. And we just keep going until they meet in the center. So, just bring those upside down, just until you get to the top. Oops, that one wasn't quite the right direction. There you go. So that's going to be your front of your house. And then at the top of that, we're going to have a window. So our window should be... There should be another layer of terracotta, I believe, if you want to bring that out. And then just 
just go ahead and fill this in with terracotta. And then two more, so you have a little staircase on the back with terracotta. And then we're going to put in our quartz finish with some windows again. So you're going to make a two-eyed window of glass panes and then the quartz on it. So a quartz block, quartz block, and then quartz stairs. Actually, we're going to bring this up one more in height. So it should be quartz block, quartz block, and then terracotta, terracotta, and then once more terracotta with your glass pane and then your stairs. Like so. Looks very nice. Okay, over on this side, we have a dormer on top of the garage. A dormer is basically just a window that sticks out, in case you didn't know. So we're going to take our stairs and it's going to be one taller, so we need to raise the roof. Raise the roof, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad pun. Um, <laughs> raise the roof by one block and place your stairs along that so that they're sticking out over the edge. And then you can go ahead and curve these stairs so that they line up with that one right there. I think so. Alright, so your dormer is going to go right in the center. It's, since we have a nine wide garage, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something happened, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to try it anyway. We're going to do a two wide dormer window. So come up, and then you're going to leave a space of two right there for your window. And then bring up the walls by three, and then just put one there, and then you're going to put your window in. Fun. So it looks a little... something happened. I think it's only supposed to be too wide, but I'm not sure. Um, put your quartz block and then your stairs over that, and then the wall is going to come back into the upstairs, which we're going to start on here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and fix these stairs up first. So place another layer where you curve it and bring it back to here. And then just go ahead and fill this in a bit. The roof is always the most complex part with these houses, I've noticed. They make really nice, pretty looking roofs, but they're very, very complex. This one is eventually going to curve around to meet up with this line. So, with the way this is, it'll be that eventually. And they, these are also going to come off the edge, so you can build that up a tiny bit. And then on top of our dormer, we have an upside down stair on the side, and another upside down stair. And then we have one and one, and then come up for both of those, and then upside down stair, upside down stair. Ah, and then right side up at the top. And that's your dormer. And it has a little bit of terracotta in the back too. Like that. And you can just fill that up a little so it looks nice. There we go. So, we are going to keep building on that, but that's the base of it thus far. Let's get started on the second floor. First, what we're going to need to do is just go ahead and bring this terracotta all the way around the outside of the house so that we don't actually make, accidentally make any oak stripes in the house because that doesn't look very good. So let's just go ahead and make that border really quick. There we go. Alright, and now you're ready to start with your oak. Go ahead and bring that out too. So starting with the front of the house again. We have a lot of empty space, as I said earlier, but we're going to make it work out well. So let's go to the stairs, and you can go ahead and bring that up too, that way it looks nice. The stairs are going to have, right off of them, an oak piece, and then you're going to start your next floor. So this is going to come out a tiny bit, and right next to the stairs you have a wall coming off of those, so a wall that comes right over here, and along this wall, so let's see, stair, and then 
wall, and then there's going to be a door right here, I believe. Let's see. Sorry, I'm checking blueprints. Yes, right there. We have a door. So go ahead and place your door there.